So today I want to show you guys how to find a dead cylinder on an engine and also some tips on how to diagnose it. So we're going to have a look at the Firebird here. So the engine here is still running fine, but what I did is I disabled one of the cylinders by pulling the plug wire off. So the number one cylinder is not going to fire now. I just kind of tucked the plug wire up over here. But I'm going to show you a trick on finding out which cylinder is dead. You know, let's say if the plug wire is on and there is nothing visibly wrong, how to find that cylinder. Okay, so after running the engine here for just a bit, I'm going to take some water on a rag. I'm just going to drop the water on the pipes. You see, okay, that's a hot pipe. That one's hot. That one's hot. See, that one's cold. So there's my dead cylinder. Very easy to find. So now we're going to do a bit of diagnosing. Let's say the plug wire is not off and we need to find something else that's wrong. So this is just a plug that I had laying around in an uh, old box somewhere. But I'd have a look at the plug next and uh, see if there's some reason why it wouldn't fire. I don't see any damage on this plug and it doesn't look uh, wet. You know, it doesn't really look like there's a reason why it wouldn't fire. But if it's got damage on it... Okay, so I just took a hammer and I kind of beat the snot out of this plug. Just to show you guys, if you ever have a plug that looks like it's all beat up as you take it out of the engine, that's uh, a good indication that you need to pull the head off and have a look at that piston or uh, any other damage because something has come loose and uh, has uh, beat it up. So you need to find out why. So usually if you got damage to the spark plug itself, it's been hit by something. Usually it's part of the piston has come off and this one you can see a piece missing out of the corner there. Sometimes it's a, a big piece of the ring land will come off and it can be a variety of reasons you know um, the air fuel mix, the timing and sometimes even the ring gap will do it. Not enough ring gap. Checking for spark pretty straightforward. I've got the plug laying on the valve cover there and I made sure it's got contact and if I don't want the engine to start up at this time I can pull the rest of the plug wires off and then crank this thing over with the ignition on and then watch for a good spark there. So if I got no spark and the rest of the engine does have spark then it's probably the plug, the wire or uh, the maybe uh, maybe the, the boot is off at the cap. Maybe I got some water in behind underneath that boot or water in the cap itself, something like that. So, but let's say I got good spark and uh, what now? So next I'd be getting kind of curious what's under that valve cover and uh, also very interested in uh, doing a compression test but I think I'm gonna I'd pull that valve cover off next and I'd have a look at the rocker arms and uh, valve springs and make sure that all looks normal there and if that all looks good I think uh, I'd put the compression tester to it and see what I find so three basic ingredients for any internal combustion engine is fuel spark and compression take one of those away and it won't run so remember, it's, it's not going to be a fuel issue with an engine like this because, see, it's got a single carb and uh, it has an open plenum style intake manifold. So if, if the rest of the cylinders are getting fuel, there's no reason why, you know, this one would be blocked because they're all sharing the same open area underneath the carburetor. So they should all get equal fuel. However, if it's fuel injected, then it could be a plugged injector, uh, something like that. But, yeah, so I uh, check the rockers now and then uh, do a compression test on it. Okay, so there I am. I've done everything like uh, I saw in this video. And I still got a dead cylinder, so now what? You know, apparently uh, Grotta 1 said that uh, the air-fuel mix should be all the same for all the cylinders because uh, they're, it's because of the style of the manifold and the carburetor and all that. But uh, I'm going to contradict myself here a bit. It is possible to have a vacuum leak. Let's say the gasket here doesn't seal up so the cylinder is drawing in air from some, a place where it's not supposed to. It's supposed to draw it through the carburetor and gather fuel along with it 
And uh, so a vacuum leak could kill a cylinder when everything else seems to be good. But, so anyways, this is really just giving you the basics here of uh, finding a problem with a cylinder. 